yo everyone welcome back to another terraria video today we are checking out one of the greatest weapons in the existence of terraria and that is the copper short sword but wait it's not any copper short sword it's a broken one that does 200 million damage so it's gonna be pretty decent this is the broken copper short sword from the broken copper short sword mod who would have thought but yeah we got this beauty here today you know we got some dummies and let's go ahead let's see what type of damage this copper short sword shoots out something light something light nothing too crazy it just it shoots out guides and it shoots out cursed flame too and i'm pretty sure these guides do home in so this is more of a, a short sword I, I don't know if we can call it a short sword a long short sword because look at the range that shoots out guides and cursed flames but yeah if you guys haven't seen this type of video before you know this is where we just test it out on pretty much all the vanilla bosses and then a couple modded bosses here and there so let's go ahead let's start ripping through the vanilla bosses hopefully i remember all of them this time i don't know i usually always forget one or two bosses every video all right so let's go ahead and test this out on the majority of daytime bosses or bosses you can't fight during the daytime starting with the king slime one and only i don't know what he just took damage from it might be my armor I'm pretty sure if I take this armor off, the sword will do a little bit less damage. It's all good. Let's go ahead. Let's just take it off. See, it still does a lot of damage, but no, it wasn't doing the 200 million or whatever how much. But yeah, let's go ahead and do the next boss we can fight during the daytime. I think we can fight the Queen Bee should be no problem shouldn't run away from us boom bye bye so there's multiple ways that we can kill bosses either you know stabbing it directly with the tip of the short sword or hitting it with one of the guides or cursed flame beams that shoot out no either way works next up i'm pretty sure we can fight the brain cthulhu it won't try to run away and it's already dead all right let's go ahead let's do some nighttime bosses let's get the eye cthulhu out here how are you doing eye cthulhu more like by cthulhu that's a good one right but yeah i have the uh brightness turned up with the light hack and somebody in one video you know i shouldn't bring any attention to it because maybe that's what they wanted is attention but somebody said that when i turned the brightness up in one of the videos it was blinding them so much they couldn't watch the video talk about overreaction it's almost like they can't control the brightness on their phone or their monitor <laughs> But next up, we got Skeletron. I think Skeletron is the main boss that I miss in the vanilla set of bosses in the last video. But there you go. Didn't forget him this time. Next up, we got Lepus from Consolari. You're pretty much a vanilla boss at this point. See you later, Lepus. Same thing with Turkor. Now, my question is, if I hit Turkor in the head... Eh? Does it kill the body? No, it's, it didn't kill the body. So this is probably what's going to happen with the Eater of Worlds too. If, if you hit like the head or, you know, split the segments up, then you still got to kill all the segments. Be up. Yeah, boom. Turkor. Head's gone. Body gone. Damn, now I can chew on that big hunk of meat. No homo on that though. All right, I'm up here in my only area that has corruption. This whole world just doesn't have corruption. It has crimson, but all the crimson on the surface I got rid of. And the only crimson is down here, but it's all good. It's all good. You know, at least we can still summon in the boss. Eater of worlds, where you at? See, the problem is being up here, he has a little trouble getting up here to me. So I got to come down a little bit, you know, accommodate him. And as we can see, he's surviving a majority of the hits because of the segment splitting thing. But in the end, the Eater of worlds, that still suffers the same fate as all the other bosses now unless i'm stupid and forgot a boss which is 100 percent possible uh we should be on the final pre armor boss the wall of flesh come on through wall of flesh let me put this in your mouth no homo on that okay on to the mech trio i need to turn this off i keep forgetting to turn off the these other boss health bars but yeah we got the the mech trio here oh my god that was so quick that killed all of the all three of them instantly but yeah since the uh destroyer doesn't split up like the eater of worlds does you know it just gets insta killed all right you know since it's nighttime let's just go ahead and go through all these uh event bosses starting with the uh, pump king bye bye next up the morning wood also bye bye we got the ever scream see you later of course the beautiful sand tank and last but not least the ice queen i hope well i guess we could fight you know the flying dutchman oh that's another boss i forgot the flying dutchman there's a flying dutchman and then there's the martians but i don't think you specifically have to fight them at night so you know, we'll do them eventually all right we're here with the golem he's getting hit by his own spike balls you know in my opinion i think the lizards messed up if the, their own traps are working on their own creation you think there'd be some immunity to it but next up we got plantera now somebody asked me like why do i always fight the golem before plantera it's because of this right here when i go to waypoints and cheat sheet it teleports me directly to the temple uh which is why you know might as well fight the golem first and then fight plantera not like it matters uh unless you're playing regular terraria which honestly there's ways to sneak into the jungle temple but i don't know if you could fight the golem before plantera i don't know i've never looked into it or at least never attempted it but yeah plantera uh, i'm not gonna put you on a dog leash and carry you around like my pet uh, i'm just gonna murder you in cold blood this time i'm very sorry 
but it has to happen it's for experiments and testing purposes what's going on with her arms you see this her arms are still moving that's kind of scary i'm gonna get the hell out of here we got duke fish on here the ugliest fish in the sea let's get them out of here damn we don't even get to see another form you know i guess it makes sense because we're like pretty much insta killing everything but yeah next up let's go ahead let's fight the flying dutchman and let's go ahead and fight the uh martian saucer let's start with the martian saucer i think we got something in this and it summons in the whole thing yes so this should be the first form and oh can we even get it to the second form you see i didn't insta kill it that time oh i wanted to see if we can get to the next form without insta killing it it's all good it's all good all right last but not least in terms of mini boss quote-unquote mini bosses event bosses i guess is what we should say the flying dutchman bye bye oh my god all right so we have the lunatic cultist and moon lord left i believe so let's go ahead let's murder these cultists how the hell did you not get hit what a lucky bastard all right let's see if we can kill lunatic cultist right here right here <laughs> get him the hell out of here so now we got the pillars you know i got that mod that makes it so i can kill the pillars but they just have a lot of health the vortex pillar has been destroyed did wait a minute did i kill him with all the guides that i missed no way <laughs> that's insane so all those guides that i was spamming or you know all the guys that shoot out of the sword it hit the dude no i'm wondering if i do this you think they would eventually hit the the pillar that's over here Let, let's follow the projectiles and let's see oh my god look at this it's like a bunch of guides flying through the air this is beautiful honestly see if there one thing i want added to terry 1.4 this okay but sadly none of them hit the pillar because the pillar was at a weird angle it's all good i'll hit it myself but yeah sorry if any of these uh videos that come out recently my mic sounds weird it's new mic and i have a uh, amp a preamp for it finally which uh you know i didn't need in the past for my previous mic you know my previous mic's kind of just it just it just worked but you know i bought a new mic because my previous mic was bugging out and my audio has been all over the place so i had to buy a preamp and it fixed the audio stuff but i might be a little that loud every now and then but it's all good you know as long as we can hear me because uh you want to talk about not being being able to hear me if you guys are in that uh terraria official stream you can barely hear me maybe they muted me on purpose though conspiracy theory but yeah let's go ahead let's take on the moon lord he should spawn by himself in like five minutes you know what i'm gonna just leave the world and then summon him in on my own because it'll be faster all right let's do it moon lord boom bro i can't wait until this dude has legs that's honestly my most hyped feature next to golf golfing in 1.4 i can't wait to see the moon lord with some legs if they don't put moon lord's legs in as a boss or a mini boss i'm gonna be upset with relogic i'm gonna just be upset with them plain and simple we're protesting Reloaded. We're not buying their next game if there's no Moon Lord legs. But yeah, there you go. Moon Lord dead. On to the only boss we're going to be testing from Thorium, and that is the Ragnarok Trio Quad Quadri. I don't know. There's a lot more than just three of them, I feel like. But yeah, let's do it. Doomsayer coin. See you later. See you later. Bye bye. Holy hell, that was loud. That's it. I beat it. That was so quick. All right, so we're going to be testing out the uh, Juice mod bosses. You know, why not? I like Juice and I like his mod. Juice has done a lot of things for me. So, you know, why not include his mod as just a uh, basis for bosses that we fight in these videos? Is it not going to summon in the second form? I don't know. I guess not. But there you go. Maybe I insta killed the second form. That totally could have happened. But yeah, there's the Grand Cactus Worm and the Alpha Cactus Worm. Now on to the Jumbo Cactuar, a fan favorite. This dude has been on my channel for like the last like three or four years. We've been seeing this dude yeah bye bye see you later next up we got my favorite parasite sax stop jesus oh look at the cool animation that's so dope i love that animation it's amazing all right one more time what another animation beautiful okay that one's a little bit less beautiful but uh it's still cool either way all right we got a uh, gilgamesh and Enkidu here they're like dragging me down i can barely fly get them out of here i can fly whenever i want look at this you can't stop me from flying in this yeah let's see the second form my boy said, I, I bet y'all thought I forgot, huh? I could already see you going to the comments. As soon as you saw me forget it, you guys were like this. But no, I didn't forget. Okram. What's up, my boy? Or Okram, whatever you want to call him. You know, I've been told very many ways how to pronounce his name. Oh. The game froze when I attacked him, and he's dead. But yeah, I've been told many ways to pronounce his name. I bet all of them are wrong. All right, so now we are on to the Calamity bosses. This is where I believe we're going to start running into damage caps and stuff, starting with the Cosmic Worm or whatever, Devourer of Gods himself. That's so loud. I don't know if it's loud to you guys. It's loud to me. But yeah, I think 100% he's going to say something about like trying to insta-kill him or trying to butcher him if we hit him in the head or tail. Yep, you think you can butcher me? Uh, I, I have another way I could butcher you and just grab you, but you know, that's not that's not the video for today. We already did that video. Yeah, but if I sit here for like an hour, we could probably kill him like this. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna. So, you know, yeah, let's kill this form with the Toma manipulation. So there's our first like, boss to, you know, really have a defense against being instant killed by the sword. But I believe his second form, we might be able to instant kill. Nah, he doesn't let you instant kill him in his second form either. Very surprising because we've seen a lot of different weapons and how some of them instant kill and some of them don't. But, you know, I got him right here with the Toma manipulation. See you later. He doesn't consider that insta killing. I don't, I don't know. I almost forgot to bring out my boy Danny DeVito to help me take on these bosses. My bad, Danny. All right, so we got Yarn here. Don't know how it's gonna. Oh my God, that's so loud. Don't know how it's gonna react to the insta killing. Not gonna react at all. Oh my God, that's so loud. Why is that so loud for no reason? Yeah, it seems that Yarn just negates. Anything you try to do with it with this sword, you know, no insta kill. So I guess another one lives. All right, last but not least, in terms of bosses, we got Supreme Cal. Now I don't know if Supreme Cal. I'm pretty sure you can insta kill Supreme Cal. Like there's no cap. Actually, I don't know. There might be a cap. She says like different things depending on certain weapons you use. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. There you go. No, she's just not taking damage at all. Okay, so maybe she does indeed have a damage cap. But of course, when I grab her with the, the Toma manipulation, because I'm pretty sure it does percentage damage or something like that, that you're allowed to insta-kill bosses that have damage caps. But yeah, I guess, you know, the Calamity bosses, they get to live another day. But yeah, the 100% final boss that I have to test, even though I think we know the answer already, I just have to test it because at this point, it's just tradition. But yeah, the Eidolon Worm, the adult one. Let's see. No, nice like piano noise jump scare that he plays. But yeah, I guess he gets to live. I mean, he lives a majority of the time. Like, I don't think there's been too many times where I've killed him. I think I've deleted him with the vo with the black hole pickaxe, but other than that, I actually don't know if I've killed him before. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, shout out to you guys for allowing me to hit 200,000 subscribers. I do have a special coming. It's gonna be just like a little room tour, setup tour, maybe even another q and I don't know. But uh, that means I have to clean up my room and organize it a bit so it looks presentable. But yeah, make sure to check out the mod on the Team Mod Loader mod browser. And uh, you know, it's a very cool mod. Who doesn't love when the short sword is OP? Just look at that. Look at those numbers. Like, you can't even read those numbers. They're so hot. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Love you. Shout out my boy Danny DeVito.